Hello, my lovely fans. It is another beautiful day as I welcome you to Menalize TV. As we have started with vectors, we look at position vector, inverse of a vector, vector algebra, and then scalar of a vector. Now, this morning we want to look at multiplication of a vector. So let's look at this example. If P is equal to AB and then Q is equal to CD, then find P times Q. Find P times Q. The P times Q can be written as P dot Q. So find P dot Q. So what we have to do is AB times CD. Since P is equal to AB and then Q is equal to C, do is the A times C then plus B times D. So when we are asked to multiply vectors, we multiply the corresponding components and then we add it to the corresponding components of what? The y axis and that of what? The y axis, uh, x axis. So let's look at this example. Given that a is equal to 1, 5 and b is equal to minus 3, 2, find a dot b or a times b. So what we have to do is, we know that our a is 1, 5, then dot our b which is minus 3, so what we do? So what we do is we multiply the one with negative three, and then multiply the five with the two that we have. So one times negative three, then plus plus five times two. So one times the negative three, then plus five times two. So 1 times the negative 3 will give us negative 3 plus 5 times 2 and 5 times 2 will give us 10. So negative 3 plus 10 is equal to 7 which is positive. So the vector A which is 1, 5 and then B minus 3, 2. When you multiply the 2, the answer that you get is what? Is 7. Let's look at another example. Two vectors x and y are given by, so we have the first one, a minus 2, 4, and then 10, 1 minus 2a, respectively. If x times y is equal to negative 10, then find the value of a. We know that when we want to multiply the vectors, we use the formula that a minus 2, 4, times... 10, 1, minus 2, A. So this is what we have. This is how we go about it. And now they are telling us that when you multiply this, the result that you get is what? Negative 10. So that means X times Y is equal to negative 10. And this is X and this is what? Y. So when you multiply the two, you are supposed to get what? Negative 10. So we take the first one. So that means that a minus 2 is multiplying what? The 10 that we have there. So we have 10 outside the bracket, A minus 2. Then plus, and the 4 is multiplying 1 minus 2A. So 4 outside the bracket, 1 minus 2A. And all this is supposed to give us what? Negative 10. So we have the negative 10 here. So let's open the bracket. Or expand the bracket. So 10 will multiply a to give us 10a. Then the same 10 will multiply 2 to give us minus 20. Then plus the 4 will multiply 1 to give us what? 4 minus. Then the 4 will multiply what? Negative 2a. So negative 2a times 4 give us what? Negative 8. So we have the negative 8 here, which is equal to negative what? 10. So we have 10a minus 20 plus 4 minus 8a is equal to negative 10. So here we are going to group the like terms together. 
So here we have So we have the 10a minus 8a which is equal to we have the negative 10 there then this negative 20 will go there because of positive 20 so you have plus 20 then the 4 here is positive when it goes there because of minus so you have minus 4 so this implies that we have the 10a minus 8a, we are left with what? 2a. So the 2a is equal to the negative 10 plus 20 will give us what? Positive 10. And that positive 10 minus 4 will give us 6. So since we are looking for a, not 2a, then we have to divide both sides by what? By 2. So we divide this by 2 and divide this also by 2. So 2 will go here 1 and 2 will go here 3. Which means that yes, that means our A is equal to 3. Another example, if beta OP or if beta P is equal to minus 5 minus 1 and then the R is 2 negative 8, then find beta P times beta what? R. Our beta P or OP is what? Minus 5 minus 1. Then times our beta OR or the beta R, which is what? 2 negative 8. So to multiply, we need to multiply the coordinates of the x axis with this one. And then that of y axis with the y axis that we have here as well. So this will give us minus 5 times 2 plus minus 1 times minus what? 8. So minus 5 times 2 and then plus minus 1 times what? The minus 8 that we have there. So what we have is minus 5 times 2 will give us minus 10 plus minus 1 times minus 8 will give us positive 8. So negative times negative will give us positive. So minus 10 plus 8 will give us minus 2 as the final answer. Okay. So now we come to parallel vectors. So when you look at the line C, the AB, and then the CD, they are parallel to each other. And we know that parallel lines, they don't meet. So if the A, B, and the C, D are parallel. That means they have the same gradient. They have the same gradient. So you say parallel vectors have what? The same gradient. So if A, B is equal to X, Y, and then C, D is equal to M, N. So since these two are parallel, they have the same gradient. If AB is XY, then the gradient of this AB will be Y over X. That will be the gradient of this. So if CD is MN, then the gradient of this will be N over N. So when you look at these two, since they are parallel, we can say that Y over X The y over x, which is the gradient of AB, is the same as the gradient of CD, which is what? N over M. So we now take an example to see how to solve questions based on this. C, 4, 1, and Q, 2, A, 3 are parallel. Find the value of A. So we know that parallel vectors have the same gradient. So what we do is, the vector P, So the vector P, which is 4, 1, will have the gradient 1 over 4. Then we take the vector Q, which is 2, A, 3, will also have the gradient 3 over 2, A. Now, since they are parallel, it means 
the gradients are what? The same. So we can say that 1 over 4 is equal to 3 over 2. 1 over 4 is equal to 3 over 2 because the two vectors are parallel and they have the same gradient. So if this is it, then what we have to do, you cross multiply. So when you cross multiply, we have 2a which is equal to 2a, 2a times 1 will give us the same 2a which is equal to 4 times 3 and 4 times 3 will give us 12. So 4 times 3 there. So we have 2a which is equal to 12. 2a which is equal to 12 but we are looking for a not 2a. So you can say that 2a which is equal to 12 then divide both sides by 2. So 2 will go into itself 1 and go into 12 6 times which means our vector a or the value of a is 6. The value of a is 6 since the two vectors are parallel. For example on parallel vectors. So two parallel vectors are given by 6y and 3y2. 6 and y and 3y2 respectively. Find the positive values of y. So we know that when we have the first one 6y, the gradient will be y over 6. And when we have 3, y, and 2, the gradient will be 2 out of 3, y. And we say that parallel vectors, their gradients are the same. So it means that we can say y over 6 is equal to 2 over 3, y y over 6 is equal to 2 over 3y because the two vectors are parallel. So from there, we can cross multiply. So once we cross multiply, y times 3y will give us 3y squared, which is equal to, then 6 times 2 will give us what? 12. So we divide both sides by 3. So this divided by 3 and this also divided by 3. So 3 here 1, 3 here 4. So what we have is y squared which is equal to 4. y squared which is equal to 4. So since we are looking for y not y squared, then you have to find the square root of y and then find the square root of 2, 4 as well. So we have the root of y and then the root of 4. So here, this square will cancel the square root. Mind the square root is the same as what? Exponent half. So exponent of half times exponent 2 will surely give us what? 1 there. So that means our y is equal to. And then the root of 4 is 2. The root of 4 is 2. So that means our y is equal to 2. So thank you so much for watching today's lesson. Remember to subscribe to this channel, Menalize TV, for more updates. Menalize TV when the sun rises. Thank you so much.